Just a couple quick children's reminders before I invite them down. Our Logos programming for four years old through 12th grade, uh, Wednesday night, youth group, children's choir, all of that. Wonderful things begin September 6th. Uh, that'll be our first night. So the Wednesday after Labor Day, we'll be gathering for our first Logos of the year. And then the next Sunday, September 10th, will be our Backpack Tag Blessing. We'll be recognizing all the students promoting through different Sunday school classes. Uh, we'll be recognizing kids finishing Worship and Wonder. A lot of wonderful stuff that, uh, that Sunday morning. So just keep those two dates on your calendar, September 6th for four years old through 12th grade, and uh, Super Student Sunday, as they're calling it, Promotion Sunday, Backpack Tag Blessing, all those wonderful things. So keep those on your calendar. We'd love you to be with us. So now I'd like to invite all of our children down for our children's moment. everybody a second to come down and find a seat. So my favorite stories that Jesus does has to be the big miracles. Do you have ever heard of like a story where Jesus healed somebody? Usually the story goes like this. Somebody is sick and they seek out Jesus to find uh, some healing. This story today is a little bit different because the person wasn't wanting healing for themselves. They were wanting healing for their daughter. Her daughter was very sick, and this woman came and approached Jesus, but there was something different about her, something that made everybody kind of pull back. She was from a different country, and she wasn't Jewish. And see, Jesus was Jewish. All his followers in the early church were Jewish. He was in the temple. That's where Jewish people worshipped. He was doing all these things. And so this woman comes from a different country, follows a different religion, and she says, Jesus, my daughter is sick. I've heard you do great things. And Jesus said, I'm not sure if I should heal your daughter. And everybody was shocked because Jesus has been healing people and healing people. He said, shouldn't I take care of my people first? And then the woman said, she appealed again. She said, but Jesus, my daughter is sick. I need somebody to save her. And then Jesus healed her. So sometimes, I think the story teaches us too. Sometimes we have to listen to people. When someone says, I need help, sometimes we'll think, I don't know if they need help. But Jesus reminds us that sometimes, even people you don't know if you should help, you should help. Because God is here for all people, not just people who live in a certain place or follow a certain religion. God's here for all people. A second reminder is that just because you don't do something right the first time, there's always a chance to do right. So you may make a mistake, you may do something wrong, and you're like, it may be a little thing, it may be kind of a bigger thing, and you, and you may even get away with it, no one noticed, but there's always a chance to do the right thing again, just like Jesus, right? Can you guys all pray with me? Can you, repeat, can you repeat with me after I pray? Say, dear God, thank you so much for new chances 